Ayanta. Let's take a minute setting up the fader port 16 for use with a few DAWs. Fader port system availability and the user experience varies depending on the software package of choice. Our focus will pay particular attention to Avid's Pro Tools, Apple's Logic Pro X and Harrison's Mixbus 32C. To initialize in Pro Tools, turn on holding the select buttons for channels 1 and 2, select Huey mode and exit. Fader port 16 is recognized as two banks of eight channels. For the first bank, choose port 1 for both send and receive, then port 2 for the second bank. I have created a session with plugins on the first three slots of channel 1 and the first two slots of channel 3. To adjust the parameters of the plugin assigned to slot C of channel 1, press Edit Plugins, hold Shift and select channel 1, choose the third select button for slot C, press VCA to open window and use the faders to adjust parameters. The bypass button mutes and unmutes the selected plugin. To bring other plugins in focus on this same channel 1, press parameter and select slot B. And for the plugin on slot A, press parameter and this select button. Continuing with this method, if we need to access plugins on another channel, simply hold shift and select. Choosing Sense makes the five available slots selectable. I have chosen slot A and this fader controls the level of send A on channel 1. The parameter encoder adjusts pan for that selected send. VI toggles the edit window and Audio toggles the Mixer window. Press the ARM button to make channels record ready. Pressing SHIFT with ARM engages all available recording channels. Up holding select for channels 1 and 2 and choose logic. The first time fader port 16 is introduced, it automatically populates on the control surface setup window as a Mackey control unit with extender. In this logic session, I have created 8 auxiliary sends on all audio channels. To access from the fader port, pressing send immediately spills fader control for aux 1. Touching any fader selects that particular channel. The parameter encoder determines the bus in focus. Turning twice, as in this case, selects bus 3. Press track to return to channel fader level control. I have a few plugins inserted on the first four audio channels. A Neve 1073 preamp is on slot 2 of channel 1. To access the 1073, choose Edit Plugins. Then press Channel Select 1. The faders are now a representation of editable parameters. Pressing Channel Select 2 accesses the GEQ in slot 2. Pushing the pan button moves pan control to faders.
It is possible to add plugins or sends to empty slots. Start by selecting your focus track, which in this case is channel 1. Press send button twice to enter edit mode. The select buttons 1 to 4 represents slot 1, 5 to 8 slot 2, 9 to 12 slot 3 and 13 to 16 slot 4. Choose the desired bus number with fader 1. Press select to accept. Bus 27 is now assigned to slot 1 of channel 1. The second fader controls send level. The third fader assigns the bus as post pan, post fader or pre fader. And the fourth fader turns the bus off or on. Repeating the process, this time we will assign slot 2 to bus 22. Bus level, pre fader or post, muted or active. The same can be done for slots 3 and 4. Harrison Mixbus 32C operates best in Studio One native mode. Select Preferences, Control Surfaces and click the Faderport 16 option. Select Show Protocol Settings, choosing port 1 for both incoming and outgoing options. Fader port 16 is now fully recognized by Mixbus. Channel plugin parameters are easily edited. In this case, with audio channel 7 selected, press Edit Plugins and then select button 1 to control channel EQ. Low mid, high mid, low. EQ Enable, Filter Enable, Low Pass Frequency Control. Continuing with Audio Channel 7 selected, press the Send button. The faders now show the 12 mix bus sends. Bus 5 Level, the Mute button to toggle. Bus 6, Bus 7 and 8 On, and the solo button above fader 16 assigns the channel to the master bus. Mixbus 32C features the option of plug-in preset selection directly from the control surface. In track mode, select the channel you wish to call attention to. In this case, audio channel 1. Press edit plugins. Press this SELECT button to call up the dangerous EQ located in slot 4. And the faders represent adjustable parameters. At this point, pressing then turning the parameter encoder allows access to the presets. Press SELECT to choose your desired preset. As you can see, the Fader Port 16 offers enough flexibility to be part of your particular workflow. Traditionally speaking, manufacturers usually make available the most up-to-date specs and instructions for their products. So visit the Persona's website for more info and further details of some of the different feature options. For Showtime Solutions TV, I'm Ayanta.